Ohio Productions will be underway. Welcome back to Best Genre Ever. Best Genre Ever! And today, we're taking a look at the top 10 alien movies. They were based on True Admits. And also, the genre is sci-fi. So get intergalactic friends, and we're traveling out for these movies. Well, I love these movies, but anyways... Let's get started with the sci-fi. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Oh. And today, we'll be going sound down like a to the top 10 alien movies that were based on true events. Hey! Whatever, Shad, it's me, Aldrich, too. Uh, uh, uh. But I'm gonna love the movies. For this list, we'll be looking at alien movies that were inspired by strange occurrences. Oh, it's me, the Great Gazoo. Let us know in the comments. What am I gonna be here sometime? But well, let the spacey like begin. Be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Check the Paul song in the description. Number 10, Hangar 18. The most well known UFO encounter in history. Ever since a mysterious object crashed to Earth uh, in Roswell, New Mexico, uh, has captured the public uh, attention. Uh, this movie was inspired by the government cover up rumors uh, that have surrounded Roswell. Featuring a crew of astronauts. Yeah. Look, definitely crashed. The astronauts are scapegoated for the crash. Incident, and it's down to them. I've never the only ones seen truly that. suspicious of the Air Force's story to solve the mystery of the titular Hangar 18. Hangar 18 itself is a nickname for a USAF building in an Ohio hey, base. So got an England alien like what? Area 51. Alien like what? Are you asking, Gordon? As usual. Keep the lid down, Hangar 18. Number nine. Hangar 10. No, not Hangar 18. It's Hangar 10. It might be a different number sometimes. Dubbed the British Roswell, the Rendlesham Forest also in the most famous the United Kingdom. Over a few nights at the end of December, personnel at an American air base in England encountered a bizarre Rendlesham Forest. Something now commemorated in the forest by a sculpture of a spaceship. Six. The movie is found footage and follows a group of friends who uncover evidence well, of aliens. There's no need to cover. Years after the original. But who cares about the get thunder in that and stuff? Oh boy, that spaceship's coming. Unfortunately, it was very poorly received and compared unfavorably to the Blair Witch Project. Un but it's still based on the Blair They're story. unusual alien movies that they're coming by from the spaceships coming through. Always. Number 8, Alien Autopsy. In 1995, after decades of speculation about Roswell, a strange <laughs> film surfaced that claimed to be a genuine recording of an alien autopsy that. conducted on a specimen Ultimately, the creator revealed it was a hoax, but it also inspired a movie of its own the Star Wars and Wars why the convincing fake was actually made. Can you imagine what Oh, happened? really? If you ever find out it's a pig. Am I going to be a tip-top no. safe? Strictly speaking. No, 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 this hey, is a little-known British comedy, go? starring one of the UK's most popular entertainment duos, Anne and Deck, as well as America's <laughs> Bill Pullman. Girl, and it definitely I'm brings up. the laugh. I'm not a face shirt. Just can't Oh boy. That's coming. Hi. I'm 
nobody After see a all, it must have been a pretty bizarre experience to conduct an autopsy on a fake alien and makes fun of a fake alien. That's all time. Yeah. Rich liars, though. Number seven, the Mothman prophecies. Hello, John Clark. Who is this? My name is Richard Gere stars in this movie dramatizing the 1967 collapse of the Silver Bridge in oh. Pleasant Point, West Virginia. Fans of the supernatural will know that the mysterious bridge collapse has been widely attributed to an entity no, called the Mothman in American legend. Look at you, Garbage, you angry, I don't know. I don't know. So the story goes, the Mothman was sighted in and around Point Pleasant yeah, the yeah. and was supposedly oh, spotted yeah. on the bridge itself. Yeah. The Mothman is now a major part of modern UFO mythology. I never with many a movie. Oh. In origin. Saying a UFO is one thing. What do you do when someone comes into your office and tells you they saw this in the backyard? If you're interested in the legend, this is one of the best movies to watch. Well, still got the Number best six, hair to mind. The Blob. <laughs> you son? A Halloween yes, movie? Yes, true. Yes, the that's blog, a horror man, and sci-fi. Both. How do you get people to protect themselves from something that's unbelievable? I'm a superhero girl. girl. The growth of an alien entity that absorbs and destroys various towns in rural Pennsylvania, becoming a threat to America. But it's been claimed that the film is based on a real yeah. event when two cops came across an extraterrestrial ooze that had fallen from the sky just outside Philadelphia in 1950. Ooh, the, the ooze disappeared over no job about that. and it's never been explained. Though if it had grown to the size of a building and wiped out entire towns, it would certainly be a more well-known story. There is a monster. We saw it again in that store. It's bigger now. Number five, District Nine. Yep. District Unlike nine. other alien movies based on true events, District 9 isn't based on any UFO uh, myth. Still it's got actually year. very clear and very well done nine? allegory of apartheid in South Africa. Yes, they Master Yoda. They're spending so Yoda. much money to keep them here when they could be spending it on other things, but there's an at least, at least they're keeping them separate from us. Uh, an enormous alien ship no, lands above Johannesburg. Welcome. And For eventually, the insane strong aliens within, referred to diminutively as prawns, I end up living in ghettos no as second class idea. citizens. <laughs> I can't believe I get paid to do this. I love hey. watching prawns die. No, 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 no. Apartheid in South Africa is still a fresh memory for a great it's, many people. Since it didn't end until the nowhere. 1990s, despite ongoing action from the United Nations. This was less than 20 years before District 9 was released. Oh, really? It's about the forcible about the relocation time? of black South Africans to a slum. Oh, snap out of that. People of Johannesburg and of South Africa are going to live uh, happily oh, and safely knowing live. that that prawn Forever. is very far away. Number four, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Come on. Come on. Come on. My goodness. I'm out of my Though this movie is often mocked for its over-the-top Look, over -the that's a real-life alien life Just like the other Indiana Jones movies, it does some things Look, from real life. this is like a fourth film. Of the Indiana Jones and a Crystal Skull. It opens with the Soviets searching Area 51 for an alien corpse from the Roswell incident, with Indy explaining that he was actually drafted in to investigate Roswell back in 1947. Huh? Harrison the Crystal Ford? Skulls Ooh. are also the core MacGuffin. Mm -hmm. And though all the Crystal Skulls have been debunked as hoaxes, they are still real objects that are striking to look at. And fake or not, they're now a legitimate part of modern history. Yes. And of course, the Maya did build oh, stunning cities, but they almost so didn't time. communicate with it. I can't barely watch. Whoa! A Number real life three, UFO! Battle Los Angeles. <laughs> That movie is all USA about sci-fi and military. Yep, you didn't know the war movies. Why well, you're gonna need to check out. Guns and defenses were activated to fight against an incoming threat believed to be the Japanese Air Force. Once again. Yeah, what's the take on this place? I don't know, extraterrestrial. 
Milan from space. No, I'm like from Canada. Ooh, from, from, from space. Yes. Wasn't an attack from Japan. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? Oh. Right USA here. Misidentified weather balloon. A story nobody believes. This has led to speculation yeah. that the incident was oh, in fact an attack from alien spacecraft, and that there was a subsequent cover-up by the what? American. There's no need to worry about that, too. I think so much pleasure that's Heavy shit is highly overrated. Two, communion. This movie. The strange event communion this was world. based on only became widely known because of the movie. The supposedly true events portrayed oh, actually happened movie. to the movie's writer. Oh, Ricky you Schreiber, might suggest it's for aliens. Hey, are you a poet? even shares Schreiber's name. No, no, no. To come up with a different one. You should check out Stitch, but Nick here is going to be the alien you're experimenting. Oh, did Star Wars? And, and space? He finally undergoes hypnosis and regains his lost memories of the abductions, echoing many similar UFO abduction tales from the 20th century. Though it seems the aliens don't want to hurt him. We come in peace. Oh, well. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel What's and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. <coughs> you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on okay. notifications. Okay, here's a number one. Number one, fire, fire in the sky. sky. Oh, that's a movie to talk about. An abductee who disappeared for five days in Arizona right, in 1975 while working as a logger. Hey. A large mantle mm. was unable to find him until he mysteriously reappeared at a roadside. After being returned to Earth by his captain. Hey, can I go to watch me? And I'm going to aliens and tell you about to come? <laughs> he wrote a book about the experience, which was made into a movie 15 years on Fire in the Sky. Well, Fire in the Sky is the number one on this list, but it's got to be the next genre on this event, as usual. Nobody's seeing you. However, the real-life case bro. is plagued by controversy, largely because Walton and the additional loggers he was with, though they only claimed to have seen the ship rather than been abducted by it, claimed a cash reward Some visuals for the year's provided UFO by Getty sighting. Images. I told you everything we know, and if that's not good enough, that's too damn bad, because that's all there is. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, that's about it. See you next time.